How's everybody doing today? My name is Steven Tyler Rosenberg and this is Gene Ginsberg. Welcome to another amazing episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. Gene, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Uh, Steven, what's going on with you? So, I hear that you went to a conference yesterday. Tell me about that. I sure did. And what an amazing uh, event it was. It was held by uh, the magazine The Economics. Um, and I don't know if you've ever heard of them. The, you, uh, the, the, economist, the Economist, right? The Economist, the economist yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, um, and so it was really amazing. And what I want to talk about with it is not necessarily the event itself, but give our audience a very practical piece of advice on networking and building rapport uh, when you go to some of these different conferences. So this specific conference was a sustainability summit, uh, but there was a lot of very high profile um, people from very large corporations there, such as Nike, Monsanto, Dow Chemical, I mean just like massive global, global companies. And my piece of advice is that, you know, I knew none of these people, I knew I was going to the conference, but what I did is that I did a little bit of research, I looked up who's going to be speaking, um, did some research on them. For the ones that I connected with on certain uh, levels, like with what they were doing, I started uh, to put out on my social media channels, hey, I really like what XYZ is doing, or I like this, or I like that. And I just started uh, doing sort of shout outs and compliments to these people. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that I think is important with that is that none of it was forced. I, I don't believe in just doing it just to do it uh, or fabricate it. So it was, it was authentic uh, and it was work. I had to put in time and effort to do that. But I was absolutely shocked at the response in that I actually got engagement with these people. Uh, you know, some of the people even uh, tweeted me back and they were like, oh, we just landed in Austin, thanks so much can't wait to see you tomorrow. And it was phenomenal. I started having a conversation with these people, these super high-end executives that I would have never been able to get a hold of if I sent an email to them or if I were to try to call them or anything like that. And the best part of all of it is that on the day of the actual event, um, while everyone else was you know, drooling to meet these people and all this stuff, I actually had a really easy time being able to connect with them because I had already built a level of rapport with them. And it ended up being such an amazing experience and I thought that I should give that piece of tactical advice if anyone out there is going to be going to a conference in the near future um, to, I would suggest, put in some work, figure out who you want to meet at that conference, do a little research on them, and then put out there what you like about what they're doing. Interesting. That's a very good point yeah. because I feel like a lot of, of course, a lot of our audiences go to conferences and I didn't really know about that myself. I mean, in terms of like your strategy and I think that's an amazing strategy because again, yeah, email and phone calls, they don't work anymore as we all know. I mean, that's pretty much in a way almost like a dead way a dead way of, of trying to get in touch with someone especially someone who is maybe e-level or c-level and trying to get their attention mm -hmm. email and phone calls are pretty much gone but that's interesting so tell me about the results that you saw and you know maybe you can give us some kind of ballpark numbers like how many people did you um, tweet about like or tweet to and then yeah. what were some of the responses that you got and then what happened at the actual conferences at the conference did you actually talk to them like did you like what can you give me a, a bit of like a bit of the yeah. results in, in that so that our audience is know absolutely absolutely yeah so you know Steven Rosenberg's general law with everything in relating to this sort of topic is you have to get 50 no's for every one yes, or that's the mental state yeah. that I try to put myself in uh, no matter what. So I would say probably out of the 10 different um, social media posts that I made, uh, four to six of them interacted with that, which was amazing. And then out of those people, I definitely met at least six of them and like really connected in, in, with In person, you met, them. Of them. You met in them. In person, okay. the next day. Got yeah. It. 
and I would say three out of those ten people, I was able to get through everybody else that was trying to get their attention uh, and have a leg up on everyone because of that rapport that I had already built with them. Oh, that's very interesting. And then tell so, me, tell me about the actual, like step by step process of how that would work, if, so that our audiences know as well. The step by step. Yeah, like what? the step by step process. So like, you went to their, you 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 researched them, then you went to their Twitter yeah. platform, like their Twitter account, then you tweeted mm -hmm. like, okay, what was the I process? Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the process was, I looked at who's going to be speaking, and I. You know, I looked them up on Google first, Google's the best. Then I looked at all the different social channels, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, see which one they are most active on. Okay. Uh, because I yeah. think that's important. It's I, not about I which one I'm most active on. I was going to say, on. yeah, that's, a probably, that's, they're most that's active probably on. a very key point is that it's not about you. The, I mean, it's about the person. Correct. Yeah, it's about the person about where them. they are the yeah. most active. That's a very good point. So continue, sorry. And again, it was, it was a genuine thing. I only uh, reached out about things that I really felt connected to. It wasn't forced where I'm just like making stuff up. Yeah. Um, and so then from there, you know, I kind of put it out there. And then when I got engagement, I engaged back and I said, oh, you know, if you need any help while you're here, I'm happy to do anything. Um, can't wait to see you tomorrow, X, Y, Z. But, you know, again, you can't put something out there and I think do it in a way where you expect something in return. Yeah, so Be I was going to... Because we're not talking about the, the six or seven people that didn't even acknowledge what I, what I put out So there, one right? thing, sorry, one thing I was going to say is, yeah, add, definitely we always talk about adding value here. So, yeah, add value. Mm -hmm. You were asking, you were telling them that you can help them with something add value and then don't expect anything in return. So I think these are the other key points that we want to also 100%. highlight when we're talking about all this. And this is, a, this is a key theme that we talk about all the time, you know, add value first, don't expect anything in return because yep. if, anyway, that's just my point. Go ahead, continue with your process. No, I mean, that's, you know, and so in doing that, A, I learned a lot about what they're doing uh, in their business world which was really exciting. Uh, it gave me a lot more context for the actual conversation that I ended up having with them the next day. Um, and it really saved a lot of time and effort and just kind of cut through a lot of the small talk that you have to make when you go to conferences. I mean, when you go to big conferences that have, I'll just say, quote unquote, famous people, I don't mean famous, famous people, I just mean people at that conference where they're the speaker mm -hmm. or they're a highlight of the event or whatever the case may be. Um, and, and building that rapport beforehand I think is really invaluable uh, for you to be able to cut through a lot of that noise because you have to understand that everybody there is trying to get their attention. Very true. Uh, everybody's trying to get something from them and I feel like it's just much better to figure out, okay, what do we have in common? Oh, wow, he's doing this or she's doing that. Well, I'm going to let them know that I think that's great they're doing this. Oh, a couple of them engaged with it. I continued the conversation online. Then I met them in person the next day. Continued the conversation, got a lot of contact information. Um, and ultimately had some really great uh, conversations with them. And so maybe I'll follow up with you uh, in the next episode or so you know, what I decide to do next. Okay. Uh, or, if, or if it's even appropriate. You know, again, I'm sure these people are bombarded all the time. So it's not my objective to bug them even more. And I hope that uh, I'm making that part of it very clear that I just, I think if you try to force it, people like that are smart and they will smell it. And yeah, that's very true. Not engage with it. And it just makes you look like an idiot. Very true. Great. Well, that's a very good yeah. uh, method and a very good way of following up and getting in touch with people who are a lot of times maybe unreachable. So thank you very much, Stephen, mm -hmm. for that Absolutely. point. And I hope yes. that our audiences go out there next time you're at a conference, try the strategy and see if it works for you. And we'd love to hear your feedback. Exactly. Yeah. I just want to see if anyone's going to a conference. 
try that. I'd love to hear uh, if it works out for you. Just don't force it. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, put any comments below. And as always, have a wonderful day, Gene. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you'll continue to get involved and join us as we help you find success in your entrepreneurial journey. Please follow, like, and share with others who will find this beneficial. We'll see you on the next episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes with Stephen and Gene.